gremlins! I've decided to create another aesthetic art drawing today and learn about another aesthetic. As usual, I'm spinning the wheel to choose what aesthetic to cover. That aesthetic will be... Vibrant Academia. This is an aesthetic I hadn't heard of before putting together this spinner wheel, but it's definitely one that intrigues me. Vibrant Academia is an academic aesthetic like others that I've covered on the channel, but rather than the neutral colour palette most academic aesthetics adopt, there is a focus on bright colours and patterns in Vibrant Academia, as the name suggests. Vibrant Academia is an aesthetic that focuses on the joys of learning and of curiosity. It doesn't matter if you were good in school or how much education you got. It doesn't matter what subjects you are interested in or whether you have official qualifications in those subjects. It doesn't matter your class, race, gender, sexuality, ability, or age. This aesthetic welcomes everyone. Vibrant Academia also has a focus on mental health and mental wellness. This contrasts a prevailing attitude that is a problem in a lot of academic aesthetics, which glamorize and romanticize unhealthy obsession, depression, and all-consuming study at the cost of health. As well as a love of learning, Vibrant Academia also includes a love of teaching, of passing one's knowledge on to others. A lot of Vibrant Academia's visuals recall classroom imagery, especially elementary classrooms with the use of bright-colored school supplies and clothing. Vibrant Academia visuals include jars of pens, pencils and markers, colourful school supplies, notes written in coloured marker or pen, brightly coloured classrooms, books especially with bright colours, also books with doodles and notes in the margins, fidget toys, and stickers, especially the type of stickers found in classrooms. There's one specific type of sticker I remember, a holographic sheet of smiley face stickers all in the colours of the rainbow, which fits into Vibrant Academia really well. Vibrant Academia clothing is usually a mix of classically academic and vintage clothing, but in bright colours, especially primary colours. One notable Vibrant Academia style icon is Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. Clothing includes blouses and shirts, waistcoats, vests, chunky knit sweaters, dress pants and trousers, skirts, both pencil and flared, blazers, cardigans, scarves, knee socks, brightly coloured tights, and traditionally academic shoes like Oxfords and loafers. Accessories include chunky and brightly coloured costume jewellery, berets, bow ties, glasses, bows, headbands, and satchels. While some academic aesthetics focus on a specific range of subjects to study, Vibrant Academia encourages the study of any and all subjects that interest you. Some common subjects in the aesthetic include literature, art, and psychology. Vibrant Academia activities revolve around learning, sharing knowledge, and taking care of your mind. Activities centering learning include reading and collecting books, taking notes, watching documentaries, reading scientific papers and journals, researching subjects you like, writing about those subjects, and learning new languages. Activities centering the sharing of knowledge include sharing fun facts, swapping books with friends, especially if you leave them notes in the margins, and generally sharing your interests with others. Activities centering on taking care of yourself include journaling, mindfulness, being creative with crafts like knitting, crochet, sewing, baking, and art, and partaking in your own niche hobbies. Having many hobbies or constantly trying new ones are definitely part of this lifestyle. In general, Vibrant Academia is a very neurodivergent-friendly aesthetic, unless perhaps you have sensory sensitivity to this many contrasting colours. This Vibrant Academia character drawing had a bit of a difficult start. The problem was the pose, specifically what the character should be doing with her hands. I wanted her to hold a book, but I didn't want the book to cover up her outfit. The first pose was extremely stiff and posed. Most people don't read with a book weirdly held out to the side. I then spent a long time trying to put the book in her lap, but the arms were not working. Finally, I posed her so that the book is on her lap, but closed, hands resting on the cover. I did try to have one of her arms on her wheelchair's armrest, but the foreshortening of the forearm was not working for me. Instead, just her elbow is on the armrest, her hands in her lap. I also had some problems with the face, and kept having to move the facial features around to try and make it look the way I wanted. I gave this character striped trousers, the colours of which I changed multiple times to get it to work well with the rest of the outfit. She also has a blouse with a scalloped collar and slightly puffed sleeves, under an argyle sweater vest. There's a ribbon tied around her neck, and she has chunky colourful earrings made of triangles, circles, and squares. Many Vibrant Academia outfits are made up of the primary colours, red, yellow, and blue. However, I don't love that colour combination. It's fine, but it isn't my favourite. Instead, I decided to use the colours green, yellow, and red. Her blouse is a light muted yellow, and her vest is a dark muted red. The dark green of her bow and trouser stripes are brighter, but the brightest part of her outfit is the accessories, which are also red, yellow, and green. I tried both yellow and red stripes on her green trousers, and decided that red worked better. While most of the colours in this character's design are dark and or muted, her wheelchair is decorated with bright rainbow spokes and hubcaps. I've seen people on Instagram who decorate their wheelchairs with bright colours, and I love it. It especially works with this aesthetic, which has such a focus on colour and vibrancy. 
I had a lot of fun with the background of this image, especially the bright checkered carpet. I figured out a new method of art with this carpet, first using a low opacity contrasting colour to create the checkers, recolouring those squares in red, yellow, green and blue, then filling those squares in with a brush meant to be used for grass, which I usually use for moss. When I use this brush with a bright colour, it looks like the texture of a carpet. I'm really happy with it. I then used a perspective grid to make this square patch of colours into a foreshortened floor. The bookshelves in the back took a lot longer to figure out. In the past when I've drawn bookshelves, I've drawn each book individually, which always takes a long time. In a room where the books are thin children's books, I knew this would take much longer and become tedious, so I wanted to find a shortcut. I tried a few things, but the one that worked was to copy the books I drew, recolor them, and then use those two sets of books. I kept copy-pasting them, making them look more different by also flipping and resizing them until all the shelves were full. I could have put more into the background, such as posters or a window, but the background was starting to look pretty busy, so I just added a colourful banner on the blank wall, then left it at that. I'm already a bit worried that the background is too bright and makes the character blend in too much, rather than stand out. This video was difficult, more than I expected it to be, but I really liked the results. I had a lot of problems figuring out the posing and the colouring, and had to figure out new tricks to make the background. I think knowing those tricks will help me in the future, as it seems books at least are a repeating element in my drawings. Vibrant Academia is a lesser known aesthetic, but I think it's really cool and I hope my video has helped share it with more people. If you like this aesthetic, let me know, I love to hear your feedback. Thank you for watching, until next time, bye!